Well, hello, guys. Welcome to another review. As read today, we're talking about Danger Girl, the Ultimate Collection by N. J. Scott Campbell and Andy Hartnell. Now, this is the first compilation set for the Danger Girl series, and basically, the story is about this beautiful lady here, um, Abby Chase, and she is I think your um, Tomb Raider kind of character. You know, very beautiful archaeologist, very smart, and also goes for adventure, and she collects rare items and all. And she's recruited by the Danger Girl group, basically a spy group, thing 007 and all, to save the world. And of course, this adventure leads her into a fight with um, Nazi communists, you know, strange as it is ide ideologically. <laughs> Both empires fell and they now they join together to form this group called Hammer. So, that's what Abby got herself into and this is the series that basically sees her on that adventure. With that in mind, let's first look at the pros of the book. Now, the first pro of the book is obviously the fact that, you know, the art that is very self-aware, that it should emphasize on what's important, which is the womanly form. And also on top of that, no matter what happens to people, whether they're being punched, whether they're being bitten, alligated and everything, they still look perfectly good. And the most important thing is that they look absolutely wonderful every time, every day. And no matter who you are, unless you're meant to be fat or ugly, you have to look absolutely stunning even though you're plump you still look good for regardless of your exercise regime and on top of that um to be absolutely honest the story is very self-aware think guardians of the galaxy all right where it knows it's somewhat silly therefore it doesn't take itself too seriously which is really important because to be absolutely honest there's quite a few plot holes in the story but like guardians of the galaxy uh, when it doesn't take itself too seriously, you can't exactly blame it for that because it's actually self-aware about it. As you know, you've been noticing, this book is obviously made for a male audience and of course every moment it gets, it has the very convenient shower shot, panty shot. So, like you notice right here, um, every moment you get, you got, you got to have a short skirt, you got to have cleavage and absolutely nothing wrong with that because like I said, the book is so self-aware. And it knows its audience so well that you can't blame it for doing giving the audience what it wants. It is the the access of the early nineties. I mean the late nineties, early two thousands. You know, with all the comic book crazes, image had just come out. It had found its audience. It was almost actually becoming even a rival to DC and um, Marvel. And it was coming out with anything that caught people's eye, and this is one of them. Except you know, compared to like all the superhero ones like Gen Thirteen and all. Um, not the Gen 13 was a bad book because I never read it, but it, it seemed like a cash grab because all the characters seemed the same as every other superhero. At least this one went a bit of a different route. Give it, I give it praise for that. It's having fun. You know, it, it really does feel like the writer is having fun with the story and he genuinely loves Indiana Jones and all those um, stories and it, it shows in the book. On top of everything, you, the good thing about, in particular, about the um, compilation Ultimate Collection is at the back, get these posters. All right. Poster. These might be um, covers from the comics also, but, you know, I mean, it's nice to have these at the back, the art, alright? They're very good, art. like I said, the art or the female form is amazing in this book. So, that's also a pro in that you can, yeah, I can guess you can put this on your wallpaper, on, you, on your computer, or you scan it. On top of that, you know, they are nice pictures, so, that's another plus of the book, compared to that. Compared and also, you get a internal poster, which you can tear out, but which I will of course won't. Alright, so there you go. Just to show you a bit more on that, the art. So those are the pros of the book. Now let's get into the cons of the book. Now the cons of the book, the first thing of course obviously is plot holes. Plot holes are bound in so many ways in this book that you would not even believe, especially the main plot about these artifacts and everything. You know, how people can fall off, how many feet and all, and still survive, how the, when it's convenient, for example, you know, um, like example, this part right here, just, just say, here they are about to be killed and somehow a giant eel appears, literally at the most fantastic moment. And you know, I'm not even worrying about um, plot holes in this one because trust me, is almost anybody can predict what's going to happen in these books. 
their fates are sealed basically but in a, in that if you're a good guy you will live and you're a bad guy you might you probably would die but at the same time like I say with the prose book the book is self-aware of that so you know it bothers me uh in a whole story format but overall i can still f get by the book the next thing of course is every character um to be absolutely honest it's a stereotype literal stereotype you know like for example their leader the danger ghost is a it's an x007 cool suave mi6 british guy you got the russian with the knives the australian with the whip all right she's sassy and the nerd and and of course the tomb raider character and on top of that there are many characters who example they even speak like how if you look at the text bubble they literally talk in that um stereotypical german accent you know you see like the germans you know that kind of thing so everybody's a stereotype so if, i'm just saying that if you are easily offended by certain types of racism and all this might not help the situation and of course the humor of the entire book is um one-liners you know and also um the whole convenient loss of clothes and kind of jokes you know very lame jokes basically you know like kind of almost like a t close to toilet humor it is it's not toilet humor it's close to and the the issue is of course um in a weekly or bi-weekly comic that will work but unfortunately when you read a compilation that's so thick what happens is the jokes get old i mean old really fast the the sad thing to say about the story is it's average it's absolutely average um and what happens afterwards is as a male reader you all you're hoping for is to wait for the next scene where the ladies basically undress to a large extent or we again a wet t-shirt contest in fact some of the characters like um this guy here major maxim you know he his story is actually quite interesting in that how can he's the only one that can take this serum and not disintegrate and that was never explained maybe it was explained in later stories i don't know but in conclusion um it's not a bad read but to be absolutely honest it's not a great book either it's an average story the art is good but the issue of course is overall if you wanted to see beautiful women and all nowadays uh, you might as well just go watch porn it's like the, the argument that people have that whether from soft porn you might as well just go watch the hardcore stuff right it's also readily available so same thing here the gimmick on the jokes and the one-liners and the feet the panty shots and everything just get old sooner or later you must have just go watch porn that's it but watch my next review where i review danger girl the um, danger size edition the one that i bought that's that got me to buy this one in fact and also this danger girl 3d special thank you very much till next word